Good day everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we will be covering how to set up your VR project in Unreal Engine 4.27.2 um, In 4.27 and up there was an update to the VR template in the um, old days the VR template looked a lot more like this where you had some interactables on the table and just the environment to walk around in. In the new VR template, there is still the interactables and still a way to move around, but they, they added some, a few more things like how to set up uh, non-teleport uh, areas and also uh, two new interactables that you can play with. So the first thing we are going to go and say game, we're going to use the vir virtual reality template. We're going to choose a location where we want to create the project and we will also be creating a name for the project. You can also choose where uh, if you want content or uh, standard content or non -standard con no standard content included. I am not going to create a new project. I am going to go to a project that I made that is new. You can expect something like this, where the environment um, is definitely a bit different than the old environment. There's an outside area and there's an inside area. So it could showcase a bit of lighting as well and then you have your interactables on the table and there's another interactable so the two new interactables would definitely be the weapons and also the ball you can from here on out change the layout as you wish or start going into the weapons blueprints to go and see how they work and then also there is another uh, thing that they added and it's the spectator camera you can also go and view its um, blueprints and how they created it uh, before we go on i am quickly just gonna show you guys a bit of documentation that i'll throw in the description below that you can go and read these are settings that you can go and play with all of these settings are already enabled and um, already uh, fully uh, active or deactivated uh, when you create our project but you can go and play around with the variables and you can also go and see the reason for each variable definitely recommend you go and look at that the second thing that i want to cover is the play method as you can see right now the vr uh, preview is deactivated i can go and do a little uh, uh, normal play session but VR will not be active so how to fix the VR preview not showing up is pretty easily pretty easy first thing that we want to do is we want to close a project a very important step the next thing is you're gonna go to the software that you're using for your device if you're using the quest or any of the oculus uh, brandings headsets you would be going to the uh, oculus software make sure you have it installed before you create projects because you're gonna use it and you really need it the next thing that i want to go is go to my general and i want to activate the open xr runtime that is for developers that um, want to actually act, um, 
use the headset as a developer headset. The second thing I also want to make sure that the unknown sources are enabled. If this is not enabled, then it won't be um, you won't be able to test the VR environment with your headset. So for the Steam VR users, it's pretty simple. Make sure that Steam VR is running. You go to free lines, you can go to settings, go to developer settings, and make sure that the Steam VR OpenXR runtime is active for you. I will not be using Steam VR, I will be using the Oculus software, but that is how you activate Steam VR's open XR runtime. Now I'm gonna go open the project again. And now if I go to the drop down, you would see the VR preview is active. I will, I'm able to go in and say play, grab my controllers, some of the default settings when you create your project is A for teleportation and also the right hand thumbstick, uh, if you press up, it's also a method of teleportation. The right of oh, the left hand thumbstick is for rotation. And if I go back, oh, go to the desk, I can pick up the weapons and also fire weapons as I please. I can also pick up uh, some of the cubes and play around with these guys and then also go to the bowl and pick it up and play around with it. The other thing that I told you guys was the non-teleport zone. There is a box glider that is already fully set up with all the settings that you can go and look at to set up the non-teleport zones in your project. So I'm actually glad they added that in as well. Pick up one of the logs. And yeah, that's about everything inside VR default template. Okay, from this point on, you would start creating your project and also start experimenting with the code and see how they created what. I will be continuing these series when it comes to VR in Unreal Engine. If you enjoy the VR series, please um, subscribe because it really helps me in the long run to get the word out of there out there and also to help other developers with any problems that they may come across. VR is also a blueprint and C++ um, compatible, but I will be focusing more on the uh, blueprint side than the C++ in this series. I will be creating uh, in the future uh, another series for just the C++ people, uh, but for now I'm just going to be covering blueprints because it's a lot easier to explain. So remember to subscribe, they, the subscriptions do help and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, but one last thing is if you have any comments or have any problems 
or even if you want to see something specific, remember to put it in the comment section below. I do look at these comment sections and try to help where I can. But I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day and stay safe.